the big picture before the power sector today, if one was to look at uh, a broad analysis, is that we have sufficient power in the country. I could almost uh, ensure and guarantee that any part of the country can get as much power as they want, save and accept a few transmission bottlenecks. So the Southern Corridor continues to have a bottleneck. And I'm sure all of you illustrious uh, ladies and gentlemen will appreciate that getting transmission corridors in place is a process which takes three or four years, sometimes longer. Having said that, we have made a very serious effort in the last 18 months to expedite all the projects underway, to bid out new projects. And I'm happy to report to you that last year we met the target for the first time in several years, maybe in decades, where the transmission targets were 100% achieved. I hope to continue to achieve that in the current year as well. I was given to understand that there is a CAG comment on some transmission line being underutilized. Now, obviously, transmission lines are things which are based on projections into the future and cannot always be perfectly matched between demand and supply. I would, in fact, be a happy person if I had a lag in my transmission corridors across the country because that is that lag which will enable me to reach power whenever there is a shortfall anywhere, like in Karnatak this year. So we are bringing in that amended uh, provision which will enable regulators to permit uh, transmission projects to be bid out faster than required to ensure that we don't have any shortages any time in the future. As India, as a part of its own commitment to itself and to the future generations, moves more and more towards renewable energy, and you are all aware this government is committed to a five-fold expansion to 1,75,000 megawatt of renewable energy. We will have very serious challenges on grid integration, particularly with the parabolic curve of generation on solar, with the uncertainties in wind generation or different types of uh, renewable energy generation means. So I think that will be another sector where we would seek industry participation and forums such as this Power for All Summit where you engage and discuss such issues are truly an education for us and government and help us to devise better mechanisms to speed up our own efforts or redouble our efforts to reach Power for All. Distribution is an area which has been engaging this government's attention in the last uh, year and a half. You are all aware of our two new schemes, the Dindya Lupadhyay Gram Jyoti Yojana and the Integrated Power Development Scheme for Rural and Urban India, respectively. Now, both these schemes have tremendous potential to reach the benefit of power to all the people of India. But our own effort, and again, some, an effort in which I would invite your participation, is to get the best or the biggest bang for every rupee that we spend. Now, we may be spending a lakh and 10 or 20,000 crores, nearly $20 billion in both these schemes. But whether that $20 billion gives us an X output or X level of achievement, or can we do a 2x, a 1.8x, or 1.7x level of achievement out of these uh, initiatives? Is something where we would seek your ideas, your suggestions, your own knowledge to be shared with us so that we can effectively use this money. And you will all appreciate capital is scarce in India. It's not as if we are a capital-rich country which can continue to invest indiscriminately. We have our own constraints in terms of government's ability to support uh, the sector. We have our own constraint that while the objective is large, availability of funding is small and therefore it becomes even more important to run the sector very efficiently and make sure that every rupee is spent 
most judiciously.